If you'd like to see how I'm going to completely add some glam and sparkle to these little toddler psychedelic crocs and transform them into these beautiful embellished crocs, keep watching this video. And stay to the end of the video because I do give a little bit of advice and tips on pricing. Hey YouTube! So today in this video I am going to be embellishing these toddler size 6 crocs um, for my 18 month old daughter. Um, I have purchased her some Crocs back when she was a size 4 but I let them get too small and forgot to um, embellish them um, and she's much more of a, a walker and like a runner now so I think it's a good time for me to go ahead and do her Crocs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand them I have some sandpaper here I'm going to use some E6000 glue to apply um, the pearls and the gems um, I'll use just a couple of these um, charms I have here now with the children's Crocs, especially the toddler size, the holes are way smaller. So I may have a hard time trying to get this um, charm inside. So I'll see how that goes. Um, I'll, have, I'll be using a wax pickup tool to pick up my stones and pearls. And then here I just have um, various pearls, rhinestones, and gems that I'll be using. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I'll also be using some um, alcohol to wipe off the shoes um, before I get started. And that's just so you can have a nice clean catch when you put your glue on, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so you're going to sand the shoe very good. Um, you want to just make sure it's nice and rough. When you're finished with that, you can just use some alcohol to wipe off all the dust from sanding the shoe. Just to make sure everything is wiped down and nice and clean, there's no dust, no particles. Here are the charms that I'm going to put in. When I say this was like pulling teeth, it was extremely hard. So what I decided to do is to cut with some scissors the little plunger part down some so it could fit inside the holes. It was still hard, but I made it work. And try to have some really good sharp scissors and be careful. But that's what worked for me. You see how it's like a little bit of half the size? Then you go in at an angle and I have to also use something kind of sharp to kind of extra push it in at an angle. And there you go and it stays in there nice and fit and tight. Um, I added all the other charms off camera because it was just really hard, but you can do it. I was able to get it in there, so can you. Now I'm gonna cover up these other holes, um, so I'm just covering up with some bigger gems that I have. I'm using the E6000. I'm not putting the glue on the hole, just like around it and going around with like some eight and 10 millimeter pearls. Then I'm using a little bit of five millimeter rhinestones and for those little small spaces, I'm using four millimeter rhinestones to get in between. I like a nice full look. Um, if you saw my other crop videos that I've done, um, I don't really do too much space. I like a nice full glam, extra. It may look, look like it's like a little junky, but that's the look I'm going for and that's the look that my customers go for as well. Um, and I don't take on a lot of customers. I just take on a few and they have to be kind of like somebody I know of because I just don't want all that overflow. I, I just don't. Now, if you do Crocs for a living or it's like your main side hustle, kudos to you because Crocs are really booming. But it really helps if you can make your own Croc charms and you have your own little flair, your own style. It just makes it a lot better um, for your pricing and for, you know, just to market your product. Um, these charms, I have charms for sale, but I don't have the ones that are shown in this video. These are some charms that I kind of bought off someone. They had a bunch of mixed ones, like just random one here, one there of certain ones. I just bought them because I knew I would need them um, to do people's shoes. Um, so I'm almost finished with this first shoe and this is like super, super, super cute. Like I really like stuff like this. Um, and again, this is for my 18 month old daughter. These are a size six. I purchased them from Journeys and she likes the glam and the bling stuff too so I just want her to have something that's cute as well. Of course she'll grow out of these probably within the next, hopefully not too quick but within the next couple of months so I want her to get as much wear out of these as possible. Okay so moving on to the, se the second shoe. Um, this is the second shoe I've already added the charms. Now. I didn't have time or forgot to make a pink charm. I wanted a pink charm on here. I have a video showing how to make these charms. So I'm basically just gonna add some rhinestones to this little uh, circle dome tile. And voila, that's how it looks after the fact. 
Now I'm gonna continue like I did the first shoe and I'm gonna just cover up the holes with some gems and some pearls and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Now keep in mind that you can customize these any way you want to. Any color you want to, you can get a plain crop. These were very colorful. I love all the colors and I just thought they were so, so darling. It's starting to get a little cold out. It's like the end of September. Um, but they do have Crocs that have like some little insulation in them and they are warm. I haven't worn a pair, but I had my hand inside of one when I did a pair. Um, I posted a video, it was pink. And my hand was starting to sweat, so that's another thing. So you may wanna, and you may live somewhere that doesn't have snow. So you could just wear socks with your Crocs or you could just get the insulated ones. The second shoe is almost finished. Um, it's like a big party on this shoe, but I like it and my daughter loves them. She really, really does. Um, you know, some kids are a little rough. Some things may fall off. So what I'm doing, let me just tell y'all what I'm doing. When I do Crocs, um, I I just throw in two extra charms just in case something fall off because when something fall off, it looks so ugly. Like if a charm falls off. But if somebody know how to add a couple pearls or something to them, that's cool too. But if a charm pops off or breaks, then, you know, I'll provide an additional two just to cover it I think that's just something if you do Crocs on a regular basis I think that's something good to do just throwing it out there okay you guys here is the final finished result of these toddler little baby size Crocs they didn't take me that long at all. Usually an adult pair takes about two hours, I think, for both. That's for both shoes, not two hours per shoe. So I want to say this probably took me about, what, 30 minutes per shoe? Um, the hardest part was trying to get these um, charms inside of the little holes. I know some of you may um, fast forward or something like that, and you still have questions about stuff that was in the video. So... Sometimes I repeat things twice just in case if you fast forward the part uh, across the part where I said something So if you were fast forward it and didn't see how I put the crop charms inside these small shoes Go ahead and get some sharp scissors and cut the plastic part of the plunger Don't cut it too much and it's too little and the and the crop charm just slapping right out Cut it enough to where it'll still be nice and strong underneath the shoe so that's what I did if you fast forward past that part. If you didn't catch what type of glue I used, I used E6000 glue. I sanded the shoes first. I wiped them off with alcohol. Those are very, very important things to do because I st people ask me what type of glue I use and why are there rhinestones falling off, things like that. Sometimes things are gonna fall off. I mean, it's not just a permanent locked in stone thing. E6000 is very good, especially if you're gentle and don't wear them every day or play football in them. You know, some people just rub on their shoes. So if you do some shoes for somebody, or especially kids, and something falls off, don't beat yourself up about it. But if you do some shoes for someone and literally half of all the stuff that came off, you may want to check your, um, your technique you may want to reconsider whatever type of glue you're using, sand a little bit more, make sure you're wiping off with alcohol. You know, just do a checklist before you start doing something and charging people because they may feel some type of way, you know. Um, if they have a service done and they feel like they're unhappy with it, or you could just draw up and just say, hey, um, this should last you for six months if you have gentle care. If extreme gentle care, they'll last you a year. I don't know how you want to do it. But um, I know that when I do my own Crocs, I did go to Las Vegas and I walked the strip in my slides. Um, and I'm not like real rough, but two things did fall off of mine. And of course, I'm able to fix my own shoes because I do them. Um, a friend of mine sent me a message. Uh, I did her daughter's shoes. Like six things fell off of her daughter's. I went ahead as a, as a courtesy and I did send her or like four things fell off, but I sent six just to be on the safe side because she did say her daughter loves her shoes so much she wears them every day. Now, if you're going to wear something every day, you do got to consider the wear and tear. So I just want to throw that out there. But I do want to thank you guys for watching this video. 
If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you found it helpful or if you know someone who maybe child is having like a birthday and they want some glammed up Crocs for their child's birthday or something like that, this may be a very helpful video. Um, I do want to also start using some other type of glue. So if you all know any, any glues that are better than E6000, you know, let me know. Some people don't like to share information and, you know, that's understandable too. But um, I did hear that 3M glue works really good too. So I did buy some, so I'll be using that pretty soon too. I like to try different things. But um, thanks again, you guys, for watching. Hello to my new subscribers. Hi to all of my subscribers. And if you're not going to subscribe, thank you so much for at least stopping by. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. Okay, and I just want to add something else because I know sometimes people wonder how much I charge. For certain things so I kind of want to like mention it even though prices can go up um, you know based on inflation or whatever you can always let people know in real small parentheses wherever prices are subject to change without warning so it's not like it's written in stone but for this um, for children's crops I do charge $55 that's the current price that can go up if it's a croc size smaller than this, I would probably do it for 45 because her size 4 that she grew out of was like tiny, tiny. And it takes less product and less time. So that's the main thing, your product and your time. Now, when I say kids crocs, I kind of trip myself up on that because some people kids wear a grown size woman's shoe. And I'm still doing the same amount of work that I would for an adult shoe. And it's like kind of not fair to myself. It's like I'm cheating myself. So maybe what you could do is have a price for baby shoes kid size shoes um teens you could say like teenager size shoes and adult it just depends but you want to make sure you don't play yourself because this stuff is time consuming you this is your talent this is your product you know especially if you don't know how to make your own charms and i sell the rhinestones and pearls so i kind of have it good in that sense but i just want to throw that in there you guys thanks again bye bye Oh, and that price does not include the shoe. The shoe is like 40 by itself. So there's no way I, I would make a $10 profit. Because you have to tell people that too. You have to. Because they'll be like, oh, you charge, like if it's an adult shoe, uh, you just say, oh, I charge 75 Oh, does that include the shoe? Or they just automatically assume that include the shoe. Crocs are 55 plus tax for an adult shoe, depending upon what style you get. So if I say 75 and the shoe is 55, you mean to tell me you think I'm going to do all this work for $20? So you really have to go into detail and make